She threw her son into the water, but a bear did something shocking. Maternal love is the guide for the child's perception of all love. Other relationships in the child's life are created through the mother's love or because of the lack of mother's love, children, adolescents, youth, and adults. There are immediate victims of this relationship at every stage of life, the father, too, but to a lesser extent, in human sexuality, the woman supplies the egg, without which there would be no uterus or fertilized egg. Egg donors are called mothers, so without reproduction, human beings will cease to exist after a generation, a mother will protect her children in any situation, no matter how harsh they are, this role is so true for mothers naturally, and this devotion was ingrained in her, some people literally gave their lives to protect and care for their children. They are always here to protect us and support us in times of need, a child's first source of happiness is his mother and vice versa. This relationship is a strong bond when a mother sees her child and smiling, it shows their love and how comfortable a baby feels around their mother. This level of comfort is unattainable by others at any other stage of life, but sometimes life has some hard lessons. Around the village people started noticing the sight of a bear, at first it was walking alone, out of sight, trying not to get caught. Only those who went fishing at 4 a.m. were far away in the low woods by the lake saw the back of the bear. The bear hides his face in the grass, thinking that no one can see him, so he won't be caught. The country people are used to many such things, that's why they don't notice the bear. The main thing is that he doesn't touch or hurt anyone, in the winter he always sleeps, it's called hibernation, he doesn't hang around. He didn't touch anyone, and no one touched him not even the dogs of the village. At first, the dogs barked when he appeared, but now they got used to it. Just grunted without looking up, as time went by, the brown bear became more daring and began to walk by the lake in the village, and he would climb on the garbage dump in the village to choose something to eat. They let the bear crawl into the garbage to choose what to eat. The dogs got used to his presence, and they didn't chase him away. Then one spring, they found that there was not only a bear, but a cub, because they saw small footprints next to the big footprints on the sandy road leading to the river, the naked cubs seemed to be in winter hibernation born. This can't happen to experienced bears because they don't walk up and down the mountain trails and don't leave marks, usually it's either very young bears or very old bears, but from the marks here, they just walk in the sand which means they feel comfortable and safe at home. But they have a hard time figuring out who the daddy is, and there are no other bears around the bear, which is special. A female bear can carry fertilized eggs and keep them inside her body for a long time, then wait for the right moment to give birth and give birth to a baby. If the conditions are not good, it may not reproduce at all, so it turns out, this bear is here to survey their surroundings, probed the ground, and then decided whether it was possible to give birth based on whether the situation was suitable, but their surprises did not end there. One of them was lucky enough to see them by the river, where there was not one but two cubs, and news of the twins soon spread throughout the village, and the news aroused the attention of hunters, scientists, and the attention of zoologists. They came, they greeted the bear and caught the cubs. They said they would take them to the zoo because the bear couldn't raise them and they didn't have enough of their own. After that, Mama Bear was tortured, she was in so much pain that the villagers often heard her cry, and she literally screamed. For a month, day, and night. The whole neighborhood was like this, the mother who was taken from her children was devastated, and then out of grief, she decided to get revenge on these betrayers, or just be a wild bear. She is no longer afraid of anyone anymore, she climbed into the garden and ravaged personal property. She even tried to attack some dogs and hurt some dogs, not only at night people become scared, walking in the street during the day they are also scared, what does she want, villagers we ask ourselves. But they know the answer, such a betrayal will be punished, well, people are such beasts. They will never admit their crimes. They only have one way to solve everything, 
and that is to shoot this poor she-bear. So they decided to get rid of this rampaging bear. They shot her, but they just wounded her. The anger and grief all poured out on the poor animal. What could be worse? However, after the bear ran away and no one saw it again, it must have gone into the forest and died from being shot. It was the decision of the people, but they didn't know that the bear was lucky. She lived in the forest. She was rescued by an old woman who lived alone. She was considered a weirdo by all the locals. She didn't communicate with people. It was known that she only collected food and herbs by herself. What was she doing or who was cured? People don't care. The old woman lives in a bomb shelter that is said to have been left by partisans during the war. In fact, the old woman herself is apparently a widow from the war. People thought Mama Bear would die because of her wounds. They thought she was killed, but she recovered and she stayed there with the old woman. Maybe the old woman was frightened or something. She was never with the village so the villagers could not know the truth. The old woman healed the mother bear alone. Maybe she felt her sadness, and the bear also felt the loneliness of the old woman. So they decided to live in the old woman's house together in the old house. Where the bear became obedient, she was almost tamed, except that in some cases the woman herself avoided going out, and she seldom went to the village. And she only walks on the outskirts and is very cautious. But the situation has improved because the bears don't leave marks like they used to now. The villagers later built a hospital on the outskirts of the village, and the bears like to go to their dump most of the time because there is a lot of waste there. Villagers are not used to hospital food, and they often don't eat steaks or side dishes. The hospital has two departments, one for clinical patients with everything from coughs to broken bones, and the second for the maternity department, where babies are born, which is known for its corruption. They do abortions for those who need it. Even people from outside the village come to this department if they need an abortion. There is a girl who works as a prostitute in the village. She often gets pregnant and does abortions, three times a year. On this last occasion, the doctors refused to operate on her. They told her that it was too dangerous and she could not continue. The girl was very firm with her decision so after a while she came to the hospital again and threatened the nurses that if they refused to operate on her she would complain to the governor about what they were doing at this hospital. The nurses were terrified. They told the girl's story to the attending doctor. The doctor refused at first, but the girl's husband gave offered him a bonus so he finally accepted and they operated on her, but it was very dangerous because the baby was six weeks. After they finished the operation they heard the baby screaming and they were all freaked out and the old nurse called the baby's father and told him what happened but he ordered her to throw the baby in the trash so the child was thrown alive in the trash, and at night the bear came. When the bear saw the child, she bit him in her mouth, and took him to the old woman who lived with her, and when the old woman saw the child, she almost fainted, and she squeaked and moved, the bear was clearly still missing her cub. Her maternal instincts kicked in and she pulled the cub out of the trash to save him. The old woman wrapped the baby up to keep him warm and put him in the oven, and you heard me right, she put him in the oven, but that wasn't a bad thing, in fact. There was a ritual to put premature birth and debilitated babies were wrapped in dough, leaving only their noses out to breathe, and they were left in the oven overnight. The temperature inside the dough is like in the mother's womb and the baby can recover. Apparently our old woman knows how to bake this dough properly, whether long or short, her deeds or magic are effective on the baby. The old woman knew what was going on in the hospital, she decided to send a complaint to Moscow to investigate them, and they really came, and closed the hospital and handed over the nurses and doctors to the relevant authorities to investigate. Together the old woman and the bear decided to raise the little child and he grew up and became a beautiful child with red hair like his mother and he became a strong and handsome young man who was famous in the village, rumors about his red hair spread in the village. They said that this man was the son of Martha, who was a prostitute, and when Martha heard the news, she decided to make sure. 
She came to the old woman's hut and wanted to know the young man's story from her, but the old woman refused to meet her. After waiting in the rain for three days in front of the old woman's hut, the old woman decided to meet Martha, listen to her story, Martha told the old woman that she felt guilty. When she knew her baby was born alive and they threw it in the trash. She decided not to do that kind of dirty work anymore, she became a seamstress, and even she kept trying to help anyone who needs help, however the villagers never accept her and always think she is a whore, Masha begs the old woman to accept her, let her see her son and ask her forgiveness. The old woman accepts, the young man having also accepted his mother and forgave her, they ended up living with his mother and the new bear cubs, now replaced by young men to protect them. Thank you for watching, please give us a like and share this video on social networks. We will reply you as soon as possible.